Hey everybody, it's Brian again from PMB Homesteading and wanted to do the update for the salad bar area. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Brian again from PMB Homesteading and wanted to do the update for the salad bar LED area. Uh, got a lot of good growth, but the water wasn't exactly what we needed. So uh, let me grab the camera and I'll show you the growth and uh, talk about what happened with the water. So when I was out of town, the uh, the watering did not get done as expected, but uh, we do have a lot of nice growth on the, uh, the chard inside here. The rainbow chard needs another harvest. And uh, you know, I think what saves these trays is this and the large tent. They've got these six inch deep tubs now. And like I did in the video update for the, uh, the mid-sized tent, they only have the, the two inch deep trays and I'm usually running about an inch and a half of soil in those. But with the six inches of soil in here, I really watered these good before I left. And you can see they don't look like they're that bad of shape. The, uh, the new growth, you know, it's not as far along as I would have expected. And the soil's, you know, kind of dry. So I'm going to water after I get done with this video. I'll do another watering on this. So I've had two waterings since I got back. And uh, but the silver auto chard, it's really nice. It's ready to go and be harvested again. And uh, we'll harvest off, so, you know, a bunch of this this week. This uh, rainbow chard over here, we'll have another bunch of stir bite stir fries sorry about that and uh, you know it's gonna be a good week for uh, for our chards and uh, you know some of these new ones they're really starting to put on some growth and then you can see my little pop-up whatever this is I think it's a cucumber looks like it's starting to get ready to start putting out some uh, buds on this thing so it'll be interesting to see what we get growing on that and we got another little pop-up tomato here here's another pop-up tomato back here so I'm gonna save these because these trays are actually going to get planted outside this spring. And I figured, you know, I'm going to plant the chard outside. I might as well just leave these tomatoes in the hive in here and see what they turn into. Because, you know, pop up tomatoes outside, if you can get them to regrow, you don't know what you're going to get. And uh, could be some nice little cherry tomatoes. Could have been some of my uh, indigo rose tomatoes or maybe even a uh, bigger tomato, like a, a nice slicer. And uh, there's another tomato over here. Remember this one from uh, the two weeks before I left? It's gotten pretty good size. Got nice coloring on it, so it's getting the nutrients it needs. And the uh, chard's coming along good down here, so I'm pretty happy with, uh, you know, even though it didn't get watered as I expected, I'm still uh, happy with the progress that I'm seeing on this chard. And it's going to really be a nice addition. If I can get this to establish outside, it's going to be great to have out there in our yard year after year. Because, uh, my grandmother used to have chard in her uh, garden beds out there on the farm, and they'd come back year after year here in Oregon. But uh, all right, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Talk to you guys again. I sure do miss that uh, warm weather we are having because it's uh, snowing outside today. <laughs> all right, talk to you guys again. Bye.